All right, this is going to be a video on how to replace or to fix the ends of some VEX motors. This is a 393 motor, and you can see that the male pins have broken off of this particular motor here. Um, so we're going to replace them with a couple new male pins, and we're going to re reuse this housing here. And you need a special crimper. Um, it really helps. Uh, this all this. Um, information is going to be in the description but this is a crimper from Hanson Hobbies um, and these are male pins from Hanson Hobbies as well um, and then the housings I actually just bought generic housings um, you can buy keyed ones but I don't think they're keyed right I haven't actually looked but based on the pictures I think they're keyed just the reverse of these so um, so I buy I bought the ones that are just the economy version which don't have a key but the first thing we need to do is remove these old pins from inside of here and they're held by these little tabs so if you look right in here there's a little blue plastic tab that I can put a little screwdriver up and under and then when I do that I should be able to remove the wire here Sorry it took so long. It's tough to tough to kind of see on this on the film, but hopefully this will be easier. So again, I just lift my put my screwdriver in there, lift up, and then as I'm lifting, <coughs> I'm just gonna slide that one out. So I took these two out, and this is still intact. So we can see that the tabs are still there, they're not broken off. We're going to reuse this. Again, when this slid in, the red was on the left side here, and the black was on the right. So I'm going to make sure that I keep that the same. I'm going to cut off these old connectors, and then just strip just a little bit of this. So it's not very much, it's about an eighth of an inch on each of these. Okay. Then I'm going to, when I put this in the crimper, this is going to go in and then it's going to crimp just like this. So, let's see if I can focus in here on, on this. So if we look right here at the, uh, so this has kind of two tabs. The outer tab is going to crimp around the casing, and then that inner tab is going to crimp right on the wire. Okay, so that's kind of how that's going to sit inside of um, in the crimper. So when I put it in the crimper, uh, this is for the 24 to 30 uh, gauge is where that's going to go. Um, so I release, and then I insert this, and I put it in with a little bit of an offset. So it's not flush to the outside. If you look there, it's slightly in there. And if I look from the other side, from here, it basically lines up with where I'm going to crimp. Just that part of the, the item, or the, uh, the pin where I'm going to crimp. And then this is kind of the key is you need to make sure that you insert these the, the correct way. So this is the top of the wire, so it's going to go in. And again, go in a little bit more so it's past the housing. Squeeze.
this is an auto release and you can see that that crimped it right where it should. Okay, there's one pin. We'll do the second one. Now Hanson Hobbies has a great uh, video. The guy in that video is very good at doing this. Um, he's very fast. I think he replaces a, an entire servo with three of these in less than a minute, which is pretty phenomenal. This is only about the third one I've done, so. And then when I'm crimping, I usually don't squeeze it all the way down. Um, you don't have to cram it down, but um, there you can see the pins are, are good right there. All right, now they're ready to just be inserted back into the housing. So all you do is just make sure you get it lined up. You might have to take a pair of needle nose pliers um, or your and just kind of squeeze these so they're back kind of square. Sometimes they get smushed too flat and then these don't fit in there. So I just do a little bit of work and kind of squeeze them a little bit together so they're not so flat. Get my housing. And just make sure that they're both the right direction. Insert them in goes in and you can see that those gold pieces have now caught the little tabs right there and they can't pull back out <laughs> and that's how you fix your motor connectors for your VEX motors. I do this the same thing for servo extension wires for any of the cabling uh, that you have Basically, you can replace them. Uh, these are female ends over here, so they're just female pins, a little bit different. Um, but you use, uh, do the same process, and you can replace basically anything. You can make new cables. Uh, we're going to start making our own sensors um, and just putting them to use with the Cortex. We're not using actually VEX sensors anymore uh, for the things we do in class. But hopefully that helps. Again, check out the video from Hanson Hobbies. Um, that's what I watch to learn. But hopefully this helps you save some money by fixing your old uh, broken motors. Thanks. Have a great day.